Hello everyone, welcome back to the Traction YouTube channel and welcome to week six of our fixed Ferrari track guide series on iRacing. Now, week six brings us to Spa and this is probably the most popular combination in all of sim racing, GT3s at Spa. So this week should be incredible, at least I'm hoping so anyway. So if you've followed my track guides before, you'll know that they are not a place for hot laps. It's a slow, methodical approach to learn the circuit where we talk about my braking markers, my reference points, and the little quirks that each circuit has. So as usual, I'll show you the flying lap first of all, then we'll jump in the car, do a few laps, and show you those braking markers and reference points in action. So anyway, let's get on track. Okay, so here we are on the main start finish straight here at Spa. As usual, we've set the sim time to match the official series. So it's the 23rd of October, 2021, and the time in the sim is 4.35 p.m. We're also using the iRacing Sprint setup, which is what we use in the official series. Track temperature for information is 26 degrees, exactly the same as you saw in the flying lap. And brake bias this week, we've gone for 53.5. There's a couple of really heavy braking areas here at Spa, but the rest of it, you are trail braking. So I think a higher number is much more stable and lap times aren't massively different, to be honest. So Spa, really good circuit, but there's two turns in particular that are really, really important. That's turn number one and turn number 14, because... After those turns, you are wide open on the throttle for a long, long time. So, on the start of a new lap, you want the car over to the left-hand side. We're going to be getting up into fourth gear. And we're going to be braking just at the end of this dirty patch on the road. Can you see it there? So it's round about level with the 100 ball, the end of it. But just at the end of this dirty little piece of tarmac, that's where we're going to be braking. We're going to be going all the way down into first gear. So we're braking here in a straight line. 
because we want to apex this one really late because when we get on the gas here we don't want to be lifting so we turn in really late but we want to be really tight on the inside quite close to that wall but be careful you can clip it with the back of your car and they get on the gas there let the car run all the way out wide you used to get an off track there when you used to do that so this is flat out now all the way down so we want the car over to the right hand side and we're going to be turning and we're going to be clipping this curb on the left and then we're going to be turning right just at the end of the curb and this is flat out fifth gear all the way and then we're just going to be putting across the left hand side there try and keep your steering inputs there to a minimum on the faster stuff here at spa try and just turn as little as possible because the more you turn the more speed you will scrub off and it's flat out here fifth gear you won't need sixth unless you've got draft so just leave it in fifth gear and we're going to be braking on these curbs now we want to be approaching the curbs kind of from this angle and then as we approach them here now as we get closer we want to be moving on to the curbs make the track as wide as you can i mean there's a probably a good three feet of curb there for us to use which makes this next right turn a little bit easier so we're going to be breaking all the way down into second gear and then we're going to be turning and we're going to be cutting this curb quite a bit not too much because you will get an off track and then we're just going to be feathering the throttle you want to cut this one be nice and gentle if you don't cut this one round about here there's a dip if you stay to the right hand side of the curb there is a little bump there so you want to try and get your left wheels on the curb or just over it and they'd be nice and patient here we don't want to be going through that left hander too fast because we want the car back over to the left hand side and we're going to be up to third gear and we're going to be cutting this one just feather the throttle don't don't be too crazy let the car run all the way out wide then down to turn number eight i treat this as a double apex right hander although it's just one turn i treat it as a double apex so i break just at the start of the curb on the left hand side and i aim for the first part of the apex there just use second gear you can use first if you want but second gear is fine and we're going to be trail braking all the way around the car will run out wide and then we want to be cutting it back now see that orange um whatever it is little flag just to the right of our pillar on the windscreen there just there just behind it now you can use that as your reference point to get on the gas now at some point when you pass that or whatever part on the the windscreen it is that's going to be your cue to get on the gas so that's what i would use as my reference point second gear then we can get a nice good exit out of here the car will run out wide they want third gear move the car over to the right don't go on this curb on the right i just feel it's not very consistent yes it's nice to use a bit more curb to open up this left but i just kiss the curb with my right tires i don't go right up on it and then we're going to be lifting and just trail braking a little bit cutting this one a tiny bit then get on the gas at the apex here let the car run out wide again you can use a little bit of that astroturf then fourth then up to fifth and then breaking down here for this double left hander now this is a really really important turn you can see the tire marks just above my instrument binnacle there that's what we're going to be using as our reference point to break and we're going to be going down one gear so when we just pass those tire marks we're going to be on the brakes down into fourth gear right tires on the curb we're going to be trail braking be nice and patient as soon as you're on the apex here though get on the gas the car will push out wide keep turning left and it'll come back for this second apex and then we're going to be up to fifth move the car back over to the left and we're going to be using the curbs on the left hand side as our braking marker so just before the curbs we're going to be going down into third gear trail braking all the way get the car nice and tight because we want the car over to the right to open up this next left so playing with the throttle again just easing off just cutting this curb open. when you get here you can get on the gas fully let the car run all the way out wide then move the car right back over left you can shift to fourth there or you can hold third it's entirely up to you so breaking marker here for this next right is just the start of the curb or just before the start of the curb we're going to be leaving it in third gear and we're going to be braking trail braking nice and tight and as soon as we get here this is the corner turn one and this turn which are really really important because as soon as you get on the gas here you're not lifting until the final chicane so third gear get on the gas now really nice and early 
Use all of this on the exit. Get your car kind of half off the curb there. Flat out here. Keep accelerating. Fourth gear. Let the car run out wide. Don't go past that curb. Because you're getting off track. Then up to fifth gear. Now Blanchimont is flat out with this setup. There's no dramas. So nice and tight round here. Then move the car over to the right hand side. And then we're just going to be turning in. Nice and gentle. Make your steering inputs really nice and small. And then breaking down for the final chicane. And this is what I use again. It's a more dirt on the road surface. So you'll see a white line going across the track. It's just after that. Ignore those tie marks there that I've just made. So just after the white line, you'll see the dirt. As soon as we enter the dirt, we're going to be breaking all the way down into first gear. Try and open up this right as much as you can. Get on the curb on the right, but you want your car in this position to open up this left-hander here. So then we're just going to be on the brakes a little bit, and then back, and then get on the gas, be nice and smooth with the throttle as we exit. Right, I'll pick up the pace. So, end, uh, st end of the dirt on the left-hand side. So we're going to be breaking all the way down into first gear. Nice and tight here, then get on the accelerator. Use a little bit of this curb on exit. Now we're flat out all the way now to turn number five and six. Up to fifth gear. And we're turning, clipping this curb on the inside. End of this curb, we're going to be turning and then wind off the steering. Just clip this curb on the left and then it's flat out. When there's other cars on the circuit, you probably will need to go up to sixth gear because you will have draft. So draft is going to play a really important role here this week. So we're going to be using the curbs as our braking marker. So braking down into second gear. Cut this one quite a bit. Then cut this one, but be patient. Because we want the car over to the left. Then nice and gentle with the throttle. Use this on the exit. Up to fourth gear. Then braking at the start of the curb. Down two gears. Let the car run wide. Looking for that orange mark. There it is. That means I can get on the gas. Up to third. Just kiss the curb. Trail brake. Get on the gas to the apex. Use a bit of the AstroTurf on exit. Look at the tyre marks on the road there. There they are, so braking. First apex and get on the gas now. And then we're on the gas all the way around. Keep turning left, the car will come back. The faster you go, the more downforce you've got. So just before the start of the curb, we're going to be braking. Down two gears, down to third, trail braking all the way. Get the car over to the right to open up this left. Nice and gentle with the throttle here. So you can go to fourth, but then you're going to be braking down to third. But then on the gas early. Because we're going to hold this gas all the way to the final chicane. Okay, so don't go too far over that curb on the left there, because you will get an off track. So again, so nice and tight around this first part of the left-hander leading to Blanchimont. And then we just find a point to turn in nice and smooth with the inputs. Looking for the dirt on the track just after the white line. There it is. So all the way down into first gear. Cut this curb. And then cut this curb. And then nice and smooth with the throttle. And then that's a lap. We'll do one more lap. So we can pick up the pace a little bit. So end of the dirt on the left. Breaking down into first gear. Nice and tight. And get on the gas. Because again, we're on the gas for a long, long time. I don't know how many seconds it is, but it's a, it's a few. So we'll move the car over to the right, and then we're going to be cutting this curb on the left, and then at the end of the curb, we're going to be turning right, and then winding the steering off, just cut the curb on the left. So we'll leave it in fifth, move the car over to the left-hand side. So at the start of the curbs, we want to be moving the car over onto the curbs and move, changing down to second gear. So we're there, we're braking. Second gear. Cut this one nice and smooth here. Be patient. So want the car over here to the left. At the start of the curb, we're going to be braking. Down two gears. Get the brakes on, trail brake. There's the orange marker so we can get on the gas. Up to third. Just kiss the curb on the right. Cut a bit of that, get, and then get on the gas all the way down to turns 10 and 11, which are really, really important. So tire marks there, braking, first apex, then get on the gas. Keep turning left, it will come back. And just before the curb on the left, we're gonna be braking down two gears. Trail braking all the way around, keep the car nice and tight. We wanna open up this left, so just 
half throttle here, just getting the car round. You can leave in third if you wish. Left it, I changed to fourth on the last lap. You can leave in third, fourth, doesn't really matter. Then we'll flat out all the way around here. We're nice and tight to the right, and then moving over to the left hand side, make the circuit as short as we possibly can. And pick a point where you want to turn, then nice and smooth, nice and smooth. So there's the white line, and then there's the dirt on the road. There it is. We're breaking all the way down to first gear. A bit late on that one. Nice and smooth on exit. There we go. So that's a mid 218s, not a blistering lap. But it's not a bad lap. It's not going to be too far away anyway. But just those two turns, you really need to focus on turn one and turn 14. So let's have a look at pit entry, pit exit, and we can get an overtake done. So pit entry at Spa, it's actually not too bad, although you need to avoid the walls. They're the things that are going to cause you a problem. So we're just going to be braking as we normally would on a flying lap. So over to the left-hand side, down to first gear. But when we turn around this right-hander, we want to keep the car right over to the right. And you'll see there's a white line and then you can see there's a green painted area there on the left hand side we want to keep the car to the right of that so be nice and gentle around here because this wall on the left has caught many many people out and i've seen many austin powers moments in the pit lane at spa so then we're accelerating up to second gear and then when we get to round about here there's not a lot to use as a braking marker so we're up to second still accelerating when we get about here your pit limiter's on, and then you're down to first gear. Brake under 60 kilometers an hour before the yellow cone. Actually quite straightforward. It's just the wall on the left-hand side that you need to be careful about. Now, pit end exit in at Spa is equally as straightforward. However, there is another wall that you need to <laughs> bear in mind. That's the one on the left-hand side, because there is a tight right turn, and you need to keep your car to the right of the white line. So accelerating, so pit limiter off of the green cone, move your car right over to the left here. Pit limiter off, and then nice and gentle round here. Get your car to the right of the white line. The only thing you need to keep in mind now is your relative. If there's people on the flying lap, just ease off, let them by, let them in front, and then grab hold of their slipstream all the way up the Kemmel straight. So let's show you that pit entry on the flying lap. Right, so we'll simulate pit entry now, so braking at the normal place. There we go, all the way down to first gear. But when you turn around this right-hander, keep the car over to the right, stay to the right of the green paint, and accelerate up to second, then back down to first, under 60 kilometers an hour. Really straightforward, as long as you miss those walls. Those are the things that are gonna catch you out. So let's talk overtaking it now at Spa. Now there's obviously the places where you would expect an overtake to take place. So that's turn five at the end of the Camel Straight and turn number 18 going into the last chicken. But what if you can't get a move done there? What are you gonna do? Well, you're gonna try and get a move done through turn six and seven. So we'll jog on a bit until we get to the end of the Camel Straight. So, we're going too wide up here, the guy's going to defend, he's going to put his car right here. But, you can go around the outside here quite easily, you just need to break a little bit later here. We're not going to use that curb, we're going to give the guy room on the right hand side. Which means your line is a little bit tight around here, so you've got to be very careful that he doesn't squeeze you too much. And you've also got to give him room. But, because we're taking a wide line around turn number 7, means we can break a little bit later and get on the gas a little bit sooner and this is where i've overtaken many many people at spa and then as soon as you clear in there get back over and take a defensive line into this turn here nice and tight and there's no way back for him then the next place i would suggest overtaking is a similar story really through turns 12 13 14. So we're going to come out of this turn and the guy's going to defend on the inside but if you can hold the outside line there's a real good chance you can get it done here so again we're going to break a little bit later trail break leaving room 
But it's a similar story to the last one where if we can hold this inside line, we might get it done here. If not, we might get it done around the outside at turn number 14. Because we're taking a wide line, we can get on the gas a little bit sooner. But then you've got the, the problem of, we then run into a long straight up to the final chicane where they might hit straight back. So there's a good chance that he's going to get your slipstream and have a go into the final chicane. Well, defending there is actually quite easy. There's not many people go around the outside in the first part of the chicane. So just hold a nice tight line. Break where you normally would, all the way down at first gear. And then he shouldn't be able to get it done. If he does get alongside there, then you've got the outside line coming out of the final part of the chicane. So there shouldn't be any way back for him there. You should get the move done before turn number one. But again, you've got the same problem. Slipstream all the way up the Kemmel straight. So it's difficult. It's when you wait, when you hold back, and when you think that you might be able to make it stick. But those are my tips for an overtake here. Don't rely on being able to do it at the end of the straights in the heavy braking areas. Practice your alternate lines through those places that we've just talked about. So there we go. That's week six done here at Spa. Please let me know down below in the comments how you get on. What were your lap times before the guide? What were your times after? Did I help? Did I cover everything that you wanted to be covered in a track guide? Next week, week seven, we go to the best race track on earth, in my opinion, Road Atlanta. I cannot wait. As always, thanks for watching. Good luck this week. Keep it pinned.